Well, I'm very pleased to be entering into this, buoyed by Dr. Wilkes' success. It's very exciting indeed. Absolutely. I must say, I don't think I've ever seen him quite so excited. Do you have something to say, Mr. Thompson, instead of pecking around like some old mother hen? No. Just trying to fill the silence. Well, don't feel the need. I like the silence. It keeps me focused on the task at hand. Understood. It was a very exciting moment. He kissed me and I indulged yes. him. Yes. And blushed. I beg your pardon? You blushed. I am not discussing this with you any further, Mr. Johnson. Look, though, this does create a bit of a sticky wicket in regards to... A sticky to... what? It's, it's just that I've noticed a... connection, as it were, between the two of you. I fail to see how this is any of your business, Mr. Thompson. Well, and now that his engagement has been broken off... You were eavesdropping in our conversation in the van. I would never. I may have overheard a private utterance or two. If you are implying that I am some sort of chippy, toying with two men that I respect, you are oh, very much best to kill. But a thought never crossed my mind. However... You have rather gone from famine to feast, vis-a-vis -vis quality suitors. And I must say, I do not envy your position. But between Dr. Wilkes' incandescent no. smile and no, 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 Chief no, 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 Susan's eyes so please, warm... Please, stop. Uh, I never intended to encourage the affections of two... quality suitors, as you say. It simply happened. You underestimate your allure, Miss Carter. <laughs> I'm not in the least surprised. I am. Uh, I don't know what to do. 